In this video, we want to share a fantastic update that we did with the dialect flow integration. Instead of just replying to customers, to your subscribers inside of a PM chat, we now updated the system that allows you to also communicate with them directly on any of your Facebook posts. This has several advantages like boosting engagement on your post as well, but you can also provide support or even sell directly on your Facebook post as well. So how does this work? As you can see in this overview, I'm in my dialect flow training agent. And as a test, I created two kinds of intents. I have an intent for templates. I have an intent for workshops. If we take a look at the templates intent, I have a few training phrases. And if we scroll down, you will also see that we have a text response. Right? So I do have chatbot templates, full name. And if you want to insert the full name inside of a Facebook post comment as a reply, you need to make sure that you have three open curly brackets, then a full underscore name and three closing curly brackets. Otherwise the first name, the full name variable will not populate. Mm. And then I have this follow up question basically. So all of these are available for free for members of my membership. Would you like to know more? Now, the great thing in dialect flow is you can also provide follow up intents. That means that you can basically pre build an entire conversation directly inside of dialect flow. So that is also what I just did. If we take a look at the intents itself, you will see under the template intent, you will have a drop down. If we press the drop down, you will see two follow up intents, a yes and a no towards this question. And you can easily create a follow-up intent by just hovering over the main intent and then press the add follow-up intent. And then you have different kinds of follow-up intents available. I created these, these two, and I also created a, an intent for the workshop. Now, if we go to the page itself, my testing page, you will see that I have a test post, ask me anything, right? On this post itself, I created a common trigger. So if we go towards the chatbot, go to automation, then keywords, you will see that I now have an additional keyword trigger, common trigger. So if we take a look inside, you will see that I selected the post, ask me anything, right? Correlates with what I mentioned inside of this post. And then I set the if comment to anything. The great thing is if we go to the public reply to comment on page, we now have a drop down. We can go with the default and select our text responses here. But what we can also do now is select a drop down and select any of your dialect flow training agents. For me, it will be this customer support training agent. In this case, I don't have to set up a flow myself because I am having the conversation through dialect flow on my post. I'm stating that I want to reply to new and existing users, also going to like the user's comment to boost that engagement again. And this time I also enabled reply to replies to comments. This means that if an user asks another question, the chatbot will still respond. If we save this, you can see the conversation happening on the post itself. So let's take a look. Let me just type in one of the intents that I set up for this demo purpose. So for example, do you sell template? Let's enter this question and let's wait for a few seconds. You will see that the outer like will come through. There we go. And if we press this, you will now also see the reply of the page itself. So if I switch over to my personal profile again, always make sure to do that when testing, you will see I do have chatbot templates and then my full name. All of these are available for free for members of my membership. Would you like to know more? And basically I'm asking that question because inside of dialect flow, I have these follow up intents. So whether they say yes or no, dialect flow should send that follow up intent based on the decision I make. So let's reply to this comment and let's say yes. I do. And let's see if dialect flow is able to send that follow up intent as well. So wait for a few seconds, then we should get a like again. So there we go. So let's take a look. And here we have the follow up intent. 
great. Take a look at the following page where you can also grab a 60% discount on my current LTD. And then I also inserted this link. And this is the follow-up intent that I set up inside of Dialect Flow. So if I go towards the templates, yes, and scroll down, you will see that I set up this exact same message. So you can have an entire conversation on full autopilot with people that are commenting on your Facebook post. So there are several use cases for this. You can just reply to comments about customer service questions. You can also do sales directly inside the post itself. So for example, if someone asks, do you have a summer dress for sale? Then you can reply to that user with the link towards your product. So this is a fantastic update that UChat has made in providing you with more options to communicate with your customers and potential leads. Also, if someone comments with something that the chatbot is not able to understand or dialect flow does not understand, it will kick in the default fallback message. So if we take a look at the default fallback message, let's go to this one, default fallback intent. You will see that these are the replies that could be sent as a reply to that user's comment. So if I just type in something random like this, we should also get a like on this comment and then get an initial reply. That's the default fallback intent. And as you can see, the default fallback intent has kicked in. Sorry, was not able to understand, which is one of the replies here. But you could also state something totally different as a reply. So you could say, sorry, was not able to understand. If you want to talk to us live, you can just set it up as a default trigger with a link towards your chatbot that directs to a flow that enables live chat support either to the mobile app or any of the live chat options that you have available. So again, this is a fantastic update that allows you to communicate with your users, with your leads, with your customers on several levels, not only inside the chatbot conversation itself, but even on your Facebook posts.